Hello there. The weather for the beginning of October has been a pretty messy story to try to tell. For most of us, rather cloudy. But yesterday we did have some breaks in the cloud across the south coast. Now this was West Sussex. And although I'm just illustrating the point across southern England, I could take almost any city to tell this story. We started off the week on a cool note before we had milder air pushing in through the middle part of the week and then cool air set to return. Why are we seeing this almost roller coaster type feel in the weather? It's all tied into the jet stream. If the jet stream is to the north of the UK, we allow this mild air to flood in. But once the jet stream takes a dip down to the south, cool air for a time is then replaced by milder air with the jet stream undulating like a roller coaster across the UK. And that's going to be the story really for the remainder of this week and into next. So at the moment, we're in this mild flow with a southwesterly airstream, and that's driving in at this time of year quite a lot of cloud and fairly murky conditions close to the coast. But there is a weather front pushing into the northwest, and that will introduce something a little bit cooler with it. So on Friday, that frontal system will be the dividing line between something warmer down to the south. And if we get some sunshine, we could see highs of 21 degrees. But to the north of that weather front, the cooler air starting to push in. 10 to 12 degrees here. So as we move out of Friday, that weather front still a dominant feature. And we are going to see another low pressure just starting to develop and push in from the southwest. So on Saturday, we could actually see some significant rain. Still the dividing line between that warmer air into the southeast corner, but something a little bit cooler threatens from the north. So for the start of the weekend, we could see some rain, some of it heavy, a good inch pushing its way across England and Wales. It will arrive into the southeast corner by the end of the day and behind it, somewhat drier, brighter, but cooler conditions. So 10 degrees is a maximum into the north, but highest values into the south, perhaps of 16 or 17 Celsius. As we move out of Saturday into Sunday, still a spell of wet weather to come, but high pressure builds behind. So allowing things to warm up just a little, before that, though, we could start off on quite a chilly note with those clear skies up into the far north of Scotland and the rain still to clear away from the far southeast. So as we move out of Sunday, that rain will be lingering, easing away. We'll see a little more sunshine coming through. And again, the uh, warmth will start to build from the west. So not a bad day for the second half of the weekend. Temperatures will sit at around 11 to 15 degrees, the overall high. Now, as we move out of Sunday into Monday, we still got that southwesterly flow starting to drag something a little bit warmer across the country. But at the same time, another front pushes into the far northwest, bringing yet more wetter and windier weather toppling across that high. So here the temperature is a little more disappointing, but we should see temperatures returning to the high teens perhaps on Monday in the far southeast corner. Now, originally we thought that there was going to be a level of uncertainty as to the position of the high pressure, but it does look as though it will build now a little bit further east into Europe and allow low pressures to move into the far north and west. So it does look as though further ahead, the wettest of the weather is always likely to be into the far northwest. The driest and the warmest of the weather, just like we've been seeing in recent days, is in the southeast. Take care.